Together with IBH SoftTech, the IBH Link IoT was developed, which is designed to simply connect to the Ethernet port of a PLC to provide secured connectivity via TeamViewer. The solution is easy to install. Simply connect the IBH Link to your network and use the other three Ethernet ports for the control level to connect to your machines and PLCs. Then, open your browser on your PC and enter the allocated local IP address in the address bar. You can also enter IBH Link UA underscore, followed by your device's serial number if you own an IBH Link UA, or IBH Link IoT underscore, followed by your device's serial number if you own an IBH Link IoT. As soon as the configuration window pops up, log in with the default credentials. For the username and password, enter admin. First, make sure you have the latest firmware of the IBH Link installed by checking the installed firmware version under the tab System. Compare the version number with the version number shown on the homepage of IBH SoftTech. Next, check your name server settings on your management level and go to Diagnostics to check whether the team viewer servers can be reached. Try resolving a host name like router1.teamviewer.com and if successful, send a ping to the same address. Should the name resolution or ping be unsuccessful, please check your network and name server settings. Go to the Control Level tab and make sure the IP range of your connected assets is entered under the Network Configuration. Then, on the TeamViewer IoT tab, enter your Assignment token from your TeamViewer IoT dashboard. Select the team viewer group you want the device to be linked to and click the New Assign button. After accepting the end user license agreement, the new device will show up in your team viewer computers and contacts list. Now you can simply access the device from your team viewer client. To connect the assets associated with the IBH link, go to the tray icon of your IBHnet software on your computer. Right-click and select Agents. Enter the name of your device in the TeamViewer ID shown on the IBH link and click Add to List. Right-click the tray icon and select the name of the device you just entered to establish a secure TeamViewer connection, enabling remote operations, remote assistance, and remote alerts for your assets. A TeamViewer connection will be established in the background and the data tunnel to your assets is now active. That's it! You now have secure TeamViewer remote connectivity to all assets, accessible only from within your network. As you have a secure remote connectivity set up, you can now initiate a connection to your connected assets from your IBHnet tray. Once the connection is established, the tray icon indicates the active data tunnel by a green frame and the Team Viewer window is now showing a new tab reading Port Forwarding. On your IDE, you can now access your PLC. In this example, we are showing you the connection to a Siemens S7 PLC via the Siemens TIA software. First download all software to your PLC. Then make sure the PLC goes online under the Online tab by start searching devices with the same addresses.
right-click the Go Online button, and you see the PLC now showing a green indicator for Online on your project tree, and real-time data populating on your programming software. As soon as you close the data tunnel from the IBHNet tray icon, you see the connection to the PLC dropping instantly. Want to learn more about what's possible with the TeamViewer IoT and IBH SoftTech integration? Let's connect. Request a free consultation with our experts at teamviewer.com/iot.